Hello everybody, I am Sabhisachi Paul from Eastern Finances Limited. Jim Rogers said last week that we will see a big rally in equities and decline in commodities once the Ukraine crisis settles down. Now if we just see what is happening globally currently. Commodity prices shot up after sanctions were imposed on Russia. Crude oil sur- surpassed $120 a barrel and aluminium prices touched lifetime highs. The war has disrupted production and trade of several commodities, particularly those where Russia and Ukraine are key exporters, including energy, fertilizers and grains. These price increases come on the top of already tight commodity markets due to a solid demand recovery from the pandemic as well as numerous pandemic-related supply constraints, especially China opening up post-COVID lockdowns. The potential impact of the war in Ukraine on commodity markets are happening in two ways. Firstly, the physical impact of blockades and the destruction of productive capacity and the impact on trade and production following sanctions. These sanctions are having major global ramifications. Russia and Ukraine are exporters of many commodities. Russia is the world's largest exporter of wheat, pig iron, natural gas and nickel and it accounts for a significant share of coal, crude oil and refined aluminium exports. Russia accounts for nearly 10% of global oil production and 20%-24% of global gas reserves. Russia and Belarus are important suppliers of fertilizers. Ukraine is the key exporter of food commodities such as wheat and sunflower seed oil. Ukraine is the sixth largest wheat exporter and 50% of global sunflower oil production happens in the Ukraine. Secondly, the European Union and some emerging markets may be severely affected by trade disruptions. The EU uh, imports a substantial share of its energy from Russia, including 35% of its natural gas, 20% of its crude oil, and 40% of its coal requirements. In turn, Russia depends on the EU for its exports, and around 40% of Russian crude is exported to the EU. Many uh, emerging markets are also dependent heavily on food supplies from these countries. Now, yesterday, European Union leaders have agreed on a plan to block more than two thirds of Russian oil imports. The ban will only affect oil that arrives by sea but not by pipeline, following opposition from Hungary. So, for the moment, the chances of inflation coming down looks bleak. But as Jim Rogers rightly says, the root cause of whatever is happening globally is the Ukraine-Russia conflict. And we should see a significant change if and when the war comes to an end. Till then, we will have to live with it. Thank you.